Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's like 6.30. And we're still in Central Time. And we're waking up at the crack of dawn. We don't even have kids here. And this is boring. Welcome back, family travelers. We're so glad you're here. And you know who's not here today? The children. Yes, they are nowhere to be seen. Mom and I, not my mom, but you know, mom and I, are taking a nice uh, trip without the kids. So that means something. That means we don't have much to worry about. We just do what we want, when we want, with no schedule whatsoever. So today we figured we'd show you what's it like to take a vacation without the children. We're sailing on the Carnival Panorama and it's a Mexican Riviera cruise. So it's actually on the Western side of Mexico as opposed to like a Caribbean style cruise. And this is our second full day aboard the cruise. We actually were supposed to have a sea day but weather kind of changed the itinerary a little bit. So we're here in Cabo. Soaking up some sun in my sweatshirt. <laughs> it's just a little windy. Just a bit. The seas are a bit choppy too today. As we say, we may transfer some extra moment to the ship. For everyone's safety, please take extra precaution while walking around and use and play and race when possible. So they just made an announcement. We are going through like a tropical depression type of thing. So the weather is, you know, impacting our itinerary. It's been, I mean, we can tell because it's been very windy and um, I wouldn't say like super rough, but you can tell the boat's rocking a little bit. Um, so luckily for us so far, we're not missing any like boards, but they're like reordering them. They've figured it out, I guess, probably like how they can get through this storm and these scenarios for us it's not like we have to skip a pole. so we're hoping that we stick with the plan and it remains that we can go to all the ports just have to be prepared for things like that so i think what we want to kind of show you first is what it's like to go to one of these ports when you don't have kids you probably know if you've seen any of our other videos that we are very pro family travel that's what our entire channel is about Today's video is going to be kind of different because we're going to show you how life is when you don't bring the kids. We're also very big supporters of taking adults only trips every once in a while without the kids. So, see what happens. Head into the water taxi, so just about that. And look, all we have is this just a backpack. Woo! Normally we have a stroller and a bunch of other crap, but Which, look at us. This is travel. We're free! Right. Things you have time to do when you don't have children. Sit on your phone and casually text or, you know, play a game or read a book or, you know, whatever. Hey, do you have some reposado? I know the cut. When in Rome, as they say. Another good thing though about not having the kids, when you see a sign that says uh, free tequila tasting, you just you go and do it. And you can listen to the person without being kind of, you know, pug tugged and pulled in different directions. That was nice. I don't even know what I drank, but it was nice. Normally when we're on a cruise, the kids want to be at the splash pad all afternoon and we don't get to go to things like trivia. So as it is just Nick and I, we're going to try our hand at... <laughs> Stop! Apparently I still have the kids with me. But we got them a nice toy. That's true. Look at this. Hey, family number 16. I'll never let go of that one. Now we're at Movie Quotes Trivia. And I'll never let go. We never really Jack get to we never get to do the trivia with kids, so we figured we might as well try some trivia. We were doing terrible at it. I think we got one Men in Black. We got um, let's see if you know it. 
Make me a bicycle number clown. 16, number 16. Make me a bicycle clown. I'm gonna make you a bicycle. And no, then we got Titanic. I would never let go, Jack. But the rest. Yeah, we're terrible. This is real Caesar's Palace. Is oh, the hangover. This isn't the real Caesar's Palace, is it? Wait, maybe we're not doing so bad. Maybe we need to hang out with In Love With Movies a little bit more often. Number 18, on my gumdrop buttons. You know that one? Obviously. I, what is it? Shrek. Tell me or I'll... No, not the buttons! Not my gumdrop buttons! We lost the trivia. We scored 14. The winners scored 21. And we're going to go FaceTime the kids goodnight. Go grab some lunch. Dinner. Pre-dinner. After lunch, dinner, whatever. I don't know what you want to call it. More food. <laughs> so stay tuned for that one. All, all your meals run together. There are no breakfast, lunch, and dinner when you're on a cruise. It's just like food, 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 snack, snack, food, snack. Then maybe dinner. Good night. Love you. <laughs> Doing our good night FaceTime with the kids while Freebird is playing. So, fitting. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I have the tomato and mozzarella sandwich and the truffle fries? All right, we're back outside. It's still hot, but we're getting close to sunset. So it's at least like bearable out here. So we're just kind of like chilling by the pool. We got a little pretty dinner snack, though mine is not so much a snack, and more of like a whole meal. And I didn't think the sandwich was gonna be quite that big. Your definition of snack. <laughs> I mean, anytime I see anything truffle on the menu, I, I must get it. And they have truffle fries at the deli, so if you like truffle, don't miss those, because they're good. One of the nice things um, about being here as like a couple's trip is that we have nowhere to be. We don't have to chase kids. We are just like lounging in the chairs with nothing to do and like we're just purposely just sitting here doing nothing. Oh. This is the splash zone with like the pool and the slides and the big dumpy bucket and the kids and we would normally be here the whole time, the entire time. But now we just walk by it to peace and serenity. Though I have to admit the kids would love it here. It's huge, like a huge splash pad. None of the other cruises we've been on I've had kids areas quite this big. Thank you, Captain. So this is Marty here, your cruise director. We will now call on Mazatlan tomorrow. Now the safety of our guests and crew remains the number one priority on board. So we will continue to monitor the weather. You look cozy there. Ah, uh, these beds are nice. They have so many like little bed areas. I don't, is it just in the adults section? Yeah. Okay, in the adults section, they have so many little like bed lounger things that you, they're almost always, there's al almost always at least one that's empty. So this is just so nice to chill and we're here a lot. We love being active and chasing those kiddos around and playing in the splash pads and swimming and doing all of that. But there's something to be said every once in a while for just like relaxing and not having anything to do. Like, I, I don't know, it probably makes me sound a little nerdy, but I downloaded like seven books for this trip. And one of the things I was most excited about was being able to just lay down next to the ocean and read a book. Something just, just so simple like that I don't get to do when we have the kids because there's never even like a second of downtime. Also naps, the ability to take a nap. How was it? I feel much better. Yeah? Now it's like kind of chilly. I was complaining about being cold or hot and now it's a little bit chilly. One thing we don't usually get to do is sit in the hot tub. We'll like get in for a second and get comfortable and then the kids will be like, okay, I'm too hot or okay, this is boring. Okay, let's go back in the cold pool. But now I just got to sit in there in peace and quiet, have an adult conversation, got out when I wanted to. I can get used to this. So normally we'd be having dinner right now, maybe even like wrapping up dinner, but we're just finishing at the pool. So that's pretty exciting. We're gonna go and wander about a little bit, try to kill some more time until we get to dinner. We're like, we don't even know what to do with ourselves. This is kind of wild. As Nick mentioned, we have 
late night dining, which starts at 8.15. And we well, never eat that late with I'm kids. I'm past my bedtime. I know. To be honest with you, it's hard for us a little bit to even stay up for dinner. Because this is like, for one, like we normally, our routines are earlier and then we go to bed a little bit later. For two, we're still on central time and this is on Pacific time. So we're like two hours already later than normal. We're watching some kind of UFO show. That's very fired up about Roswell. Nick's also, you know, chilling in bed, watching some TV, enjoying a nice beverage over there. What you got in your cup? Uh, I myself a nice glass of port because, you know, when sailing, one should, you know, drink port. <laughs> You're so funny. Isn't that good? Isn't that good? If you know anything about us, having watched our videos, you know that we drink a lot of um, Trader Joe's Finest, and this is yet another that you should experience from Trader Joe's. Like I chose port for a reason. Not because I sit down and drink port all the time. It's Brittany's least favorite kind of wine. So I figured like, <laughs> if I'm gonna drink a wine in front of her, it may be one that she's like, not thrilled with. <laughs> Unless it goes further than the other kinds of wines. Oh yeah, it's twice as boozy. So it's definitely a, <laughs> it's a solid investment. Look at you getting all fancy for dinner. Normally you don't even have time to brush right? your hair. Oh, look at Right Normally when we're on like a cruise or vacation or whatever, we're like in such a rush to get everybody ready for dinner um, because there's four of us, but it was pretty leisurely and it's nice to be able to take the time to take a full shower and put on makeup and do all this stuff. So our, our typical routine when we're on vacation is that we go to dinner, one of the kids inevitably pass out on the floor or chair wherever during dinner. And so then we come back to the room after dinner and they go to sleep and we watch TV or do whatever because our night's kind of over at that point. It's been a little tricky for us on the first couple of days of this cruise because we are not used to staying up late, but we are going to try to see what life is like without having children with you on vacation and try to do a little something after dinner rather than you know, falling right asleep. So that's one difference when you're not traveling with kids is you can like party it up pregnancy style. <laughs> also, they changed our itinerary again. We were supposed to go, I, I don't even remember at this point where we, where they changed it to first, but the tropical depression, tropical storm has now become Hurricane K. And so now they have to change it all over again. So we don't get to go to Puerto Vallarta. Um, we're going to Mazatlan tomorrow. Then I think we have two sea days and then we're gonna add on Ensenada, which wasn't even on the itinerary to begin with. So they keep making all these changes. We'll see if any of them stick or even when we travel with kids, we're pretty flexible and we have to be when we're traveling standby, but we're just kind of even more so without kids. We just along for the ride. Yeah, I don't hear Paw Patrol, or I don't hear Barbie, I don't... It's quiet. There's no kids, like, down there under the table. Normally the ordering process for me is, like, an epic event, because not only do I have to figure out what I want, being, like, a semi-indecisive person myself, but I also have to figure out what two children want. This is how it goes. Here's your choices. Which one do you want? Well, I don't want any of this. No, I don't want that. Can I have spaghetti? Spaghetti's not even on the menu. I want spaghetti. It, it's a whole thing, a whole thing. One of the things I was most excited for for this trip was just being able to come down to dinner and not have any of that. Just sit and eat dinner. By the way, spaghetti does sound nice. Did you order me some? It's on the menu. It's like I'm flying a drone over our food. <laughs> when you're in Mexico, you have Wiener Schnitzel. We're getting canceled. I want you to know this. We're getting canceled. <laughs> what do you have to say for his name? First of all, I just put ketchup on a plate with schnitzel. Okay. <laughs> and second of all, I'm a Chicago. Make your own conclusions. Okay.
We don't usually eat a lot of desserts, but when you're on a cruise, it's like a nightly tradition. I got a, um, a chocolate panna cotta, and you would never know from looking at it, but it's supposedly like less sugar or some sort of healthier thing. It's not as good as the melting cake, but still pretty good. We're not used to like having to make like dinner time conversation with each other, so we've gone down some roads. Let's just put it, leave it at that. <laughs> we've gone down some roads. <laughs> so if you have any um, good dinner time ideas, topics, conversation starters, put them down in the comments below because if we ever do one of these again, we'll be prepared. We'll make. When we've mentioned before the differences between travel and vacation, this is definitely vacation. Like true, relaxing vacation. Most of the videos you'll find on our channel are travel, but this is vacation. And we can do whatever we want on vacation. And that includes going to bed at like 9.15. If you've heard of influencers in the wild, we're not that, but we're parents in the wild. Usher, usher. I really have to bring some of these dance moves home with me. I know. She's like a happy little penguin marching off with her food, getting her waddle on. See, we gotta back up a little bit. Now it's, you gotta get the... Dude, I think that's it for me. Like you got that's one more got. on you. You got one more on you. Let's do that one more time. We had quite the eventful night. And I think we've said this before, but um, we're huge fans of doing like these kid-free vacations. We love taking the kids and we always make sure that we take them as much as we can when we travel. But we also think it's just really nice every once in a while to do like a vacation just the parents where you have time for yourselves and you can really just like do whatever you want to do because when you're traveling with kids you know a lot of times it's more travel than vacation um and your focus is on them first and foremost and you don't get to do a lot of the relaxation type things so that is what this trip is about for us. But hopefully we have inspired you to take a little trip on your own, um, have a little parent time, and that's really the goal of this video. So um, let us know in the comments if you've done one of these like parent trips or if you have like a favorite place that you go. Thanks for watching. Check out um, some of our other videos that we'll be making for um, this carnival cruise, and we'll see you in the next one. Good night.